Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen where I posted that I had ordered 31 clams from Super Tarts for my anniversary gift. Uh, I just got it today, so I'm super excited to share with you what all I got. Some of the scents were repurchases, other ones were, uh, well, a lot of them were new to me, so I'm really excited about, about trying out some new scents. So anyways, um, a little bit of information about Super Tarts. The owner's name is Brandy Williams or Brandy Tarts on Facebook. She has a Facebook group that's very active that you will find answers to many questions in there. And then I will link her actual website in the description box below. Um, I'm going to try to go through these as fast as I can. So let's jump right in. I did get a sample in cappuccino, which just is a, um, this looks like it's a piece of, um, what is it called? Her potion pack. Sorry, I drew a blank. I don't order potion packs, so I, I forgot what they were called. But anyways, um, that's a coffee scent. Not really for me, but I'll pass it on to somebody else. I have Laveau, which is my all-time favorite. You guys already know this. Um, lavender cream and raw sugar crystal buttercream. This is just such a to-die-for scent. Um, I did get the last one in stock because... Well, there was only two left. Somebody snagged one out of my cart, and then I could only check out with one. But this is just such a sweet scent. I just love it. Next is Finnick, which is new to me. Sugar Cubes and Ocean Waves. I hear a lot of people talking about this, so I wanted to give it a try. It's kind of green. Like, it's got a green note to it. It's okay. I might give it a melt and then maybe pass it along to my mom. She likes the green scents more than I do, so... Next we have Beth, Lollipops, Moscato, and Passion Fruit. Ah, sorry guys. I swear one of these days I will get a tripod, but bear with me until then. So this smells, I get all of those notes actually, but I'm really smelling that Passion Fruit. And surprisingly, I'm actually getting that Moscato. It's really good. Next, we have Cinna, which is a Vita shampoo, Fruit Loops, and Fresh Picked Strawberries. My last Super Tarts order, after I, after I had already placed this order, I got a sample of Cinna, and I guess it's just the Vita shampoo I don't like. It smells actually like horrendous right now. Um, I did melt it, the sample, and it was tolerable after it melted for a while, but I don't think I'm going to keep that one. Um, next we have My Precious, which is Blood Orange, Tangerine, Strawberry, Raspberry, and Bergamot. This is a really good scent. It's, I would say it's heavy, more heavy on the strawberry and the raspberry and possibly the tangerine. It's one of the orange scents, but I can't really tell. The Blood Orange or the Tangerine. tangerine. It's, it's really good and fruity and sweet though, so that's nice. This one also sold out. So I think people like that one a lot, so I'm glad I got to try it. Next is Lizzie, which is peaches, magnolia, pear, jasmine, white amber, and a slight grapefruit note. This is heavy on the peach. And I love I love the colors. Something about that orange and the white. Um, yeah, so it's heavy on the peach, but I get like a combination of these other notes that make it the peach not so like in your face strong. It's actually a good combination. Next is Prim, which is lavender, violet, and cucumber mint. So I'm really smelling the lavender and the mint. I don't really get the violet. And I don't really get the cucumber. It's not like a strong note, but this is so pretty. It actually smells really good. If this one performs as well as I hope it does, um, it might become a new favorite. All right, moving along. We got Rosemary's Baby, uh, Bedtime Bath, Rosemary Mint, and Herbal Lavender. I ordered this because Devin, which is another, she's another YouTuber. She always talks about this one being her favorite, and I just really, I love lavender, so I wanted to give it a try. This is really good. You get that Rosemary Mint and the Herbal Lavender. I don't really get that Bedtime Bath, but... Um, I love mint and lavender, so I'm excited to melt that. Next is raspberry peach sangria. It's pretty self-explanatory. Mm, it's very fruity, peachy, 
raspberry like I do get that sangria note which is weird because I don't know I'm just so used to drinking that versus smelling it next is wonderful life peppermint frosted grapefruit orange pink sugar and vanilla ice cream this is interesting I get that grapefruit the most and maybe a little bit of the orange I'll have to give this one a melt because it's slightly, it's kind of light on cold. So I don't want to judge it right now, but hopefully it'll get a little stronger. Next is Tie Me Up, which is vanilla bean, champagne, and strawberries. Ooh, I like that. I was so glad that this actually had its own like strawberry scent because I was thinking it might smell similar to strawberries and champagne from Victoria's Secret. But Brandy has a totally different strawberry and this is actually really, really good. And on cold sniff, it to me, it smells like it would be an underrated scent. Like people don't give it the credit it deserves. Next is King Crow, Snowy Peppermint, and um, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, which is a sexy man scent. Oh, that's good. You get the cologne, but it's not too strong. Um, the peppermint really comes out. Now that I've smelled this, this is the only other peppermint blend, I think, um, that I've tried. But this does have a similar peppermint note as co the Collector. So this is this is good. I kind of regret not getting more than one. Next is Charming, which is pink grapefruit and sugar cookies. Ooh, that's nice. The sugar cookie is the top note for sure. But um, I do get that grapefruit note. But, but the sugar cookie is strong. So if you don't like that type of bakery scent, then that might not be for you. Next is Sansa, Fresh Picked Strawberries and Pink Sugar, which I thought I ordered two. I'll have to look, but um, I love this one. I melted it and I really, 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 really loved it. So, yep, it smells delicious. If you haven't given it a try when she restocks it, check that one out because it's actually to die for. I got two Willow because it's really good. It's one of the top, I haven't even melted it yet, but it has the same lavender in that same go to sleep, which, I mean, I'm sorry, not go to sleep, Re erase that. It has, the it has the same lavender that I smell in Laveau and you know, you guys already know that I'm obsessed with Laveau. So that's a win-win for me. <coughs> Excuse me guys. I got two soul suckers because I love soul suckers. This is just a great, um, oh, and I didn't even tell you guys what this willow was. My bad. Let me backtrack. So it's apricot cakes and lavender. That's what it looks like. Got the vampire teeth in there. And this is from the Buffy's, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer collection. I just love this. It seriously, it smells a lot like Laveau. So I just really, really, really love that smell. So anyways, back to Soul Suckers, Death and Decay, which is a lush type, and Strawberry Slices. This is another one of those scents that you either love or you hate. Some people really don't like, the, like this strawberry scent, but this one stands out to me for some reason. So I really enjoy this one. So I got two, because it is one of my favorites. Next, I have Modern Family, Cucumber Mint, Apple Slices, and Lemon Wedges. It's a very fresh scent, very sweet, fresh scent. This is a this will be a good bathroom scent. That's what I think of. I do get that a slight mint note and a slight lemon, but it's not really heavy on the apple if you don't like apple. So next we have Stark, which is vanilla champagne with sweet berries floating at the rim, sipped by a smoking hot babe wearing cotton candy lip gloss. So I do. This kind of smells like Big Brother, if you've smelled Big Brother. It's good. Um, kind of just like one of those fruity, sparkling, or like fizzy scents. Next, I have the Punisher, which is the Omen blended with tobacco leaves. This one was very interesting sounding, so. Oh wow, that's really good. I am seriously kicking myself for not getting more of this. It's very, sweet from the tobacco leaf but the omen i feel like in the blends from the omen it always takes over but this one actually smells more of the tobacco leaf on cold so i'm looking forward to that 
Next, we have Gotham, which is black, black raspberry, vanilla, pomegranate, and vanilla champagne. Oh, wow. That smells really good. I smell something familiar, but I can't save Gotham. It took me a minute to realize what it said. But yeah, this smells familiar, and I don't know why. I always find that kind of smell familiar to me. I got another rose, which is pink sugar and coconut cream pie. This one I melted. I got it in a de-stash not too long ago, and I fell in love because it's very heavy on that pink sugar. So when you melt it, you get a lot of the pink sugar with like a, a slight creamy note. I think that's from, that would be from the coconut cream pie, but this is just such a great scent um, if you like pink sugar. Next, I have Sophia, pear gelato topped with sweet blackberry preserves. Ooh, that's nice. This is good. That pear in there reminds me of the pear. I guess I'm smelling the same pear that's in Jaws because I get, like, I have, like, a little flashback of the Jaws scent. Yeah, it's definitely that pear that I'm picking up in the Jaws blend now that I'm smelling Sophia. I got Buffy, which is rosemary, mint, and lemonade. People rave about this one too. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely impressed with this one. Surprisingly, I didn't think lemonade and mint would go well together, but now I know I am wrong. And it did turn out to be a really great blend, so I need more of that. Next, I have Shredder, which is papaya, mango, and 7-Up Pound Cake. This is interesting. It's kind of light on cold, so I can't really judge it right now. I don't even know what I smell because it is so light to me. So I'm not even going to comment on that one. Next is April, which is ginger ale, mac, apple, marshmallow, and cotton candy. Ooh, that's nice. I smell the ginger ale. I get this, a slight apple note, but it's really not too overpowering. That's a good one. Next is lemon grab, tart lemon drops, sugar crystals, and cotton candy. People, I thought, really liked this one, but it, was ha it happened to be in stock, so I tried it out. And my kids will be, they will have a hoot when they see this. They're not in here, but they love they, they play like the, they have, um, or my older daughter has the Adventure Time Xbox game. She likes that one. Unacceptable. I can just see him saying this too. So this is, this is also kind of light on cold. And I don't have, I don't want to make this video super long, so I'm not going to pop them out and smell the bottoms, but hopefully when I actually melt this, it'll be a little bit stronger. Ugh, I'm making a mess with wax. Sorry, guys. All right, moving on. I have Galaxy City, which is strawberry, daiquiri, moscato, cassis, and sweet pomelo. Ooh, that's good. That is a unique scent. It's It smells... I don't know. It's kind of like mature, but it's not like a perfumey note or anything. I feel like this would be something you would enjoy if you were just mature. <laughs> I don't know. It's a good one. That's un I, that's really interesting. I like that. Next is Penny, which is watermelon lemonade. Ooh, that's nice. Um, you get both notes equally. It's just a very fruity fresh lemonade scent. And we have the last clam in Sandman, which is the omen blended with relaxing sandalwood. Mm, that's nice. I like that sandalwood note with the omen. I just hope that the omen doesn't overpower it because I melted Gollum the other day and I really was disappointed because all I smelled was the omen. But yeah, that is Sandman. All right, guys. So we went through all 31 clams in under 15 minutes, right under 15 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I um, have some orders coming in from the sale she just has or had. And if you're watching this as of the 17th, uh, uh, Saturday, June 17th, 
check out her sale. It goes on until tomorrow, the 18th. So see if you can get in on the sale. It's for um, Father's Day. It's a Father's Day sale for, for a man sense or like anything that is named after a man or anything like that. So anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've melted any of these, what your favorites were and your thoughts on these. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.